So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges for week two, and we're going to be looking at Eververse. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, and subscribe, it really does help. And other than that, let's just get right into it. So Sour Bond 2, Sour Bound 2, I mean, <laughs> complete bound in Sorrow 2 and defeat Cabal with precision final blows. This is literally the story, so this shouldn't be too hard. Uh, just hit your shots and complete the story. That's really it. Uh, Levi Leviathan chests, open ch world chests while exploring the derelict leviathan this one's not too hard uh make sure if you are interested in doing this really really fast make sure that your ghost has a treasure hunter i think it's called yeah detect caches within a 50 meter range you can still have blinding light uh, times six so make sure you just have that on not hard at all just uh as you're trying to continue with the story just do that uh umbral focusing focus equipment at the crown of sorrow throughout the season again throughout the season you don't have to do this immediately but if you do want to do it just make sure that you get a bunch of umbral engrams they're not that hard to do or it's not that hard to get just play the game uh, i know a lot of the things that i say is just play the game but this is really just play the game uh you unfortunately if there was a great way to like farm umbrals i would tell you but i don't have one so next one is harvest at dawn defeat combatants with scythe final blows on the derelict leviathan and defeat combatants with solar power weapon final blows in sever activities uh so again this was not hard you're gonna be completing this while trying to do the leviathan chest and sorrow bound too uh so you might as well do this one obviously just get the scythe kill a bunch of stuff with it and make sure you have a solar power weapon a lmg would probably be the best because you're gonna give it a lot of bot you're gonna get a lot more mileage out of each kill because an lmg you can kill like a red bar with one shot versus a rocket launcher it would be a waste uh, next one is moon activities on the moon earn progress by uh, on the moon earn progress by completing bounties patrols public events and law sectors uh this one kind of sucks a little but you can complete this one with lost in the in the legend complete a lost sector on legend or higher so you can complete these two and you might never know you probably could just complete a close range calibration as well you want to do as many things as you can so that way you don't have to stay there longer than you need to so for close range calibration uh calibrate close range weapons sidearms submachine guns shotguns glaives and swords on the moon bonus progress for rapidly defeating combatants so it does say on the moon so obviously these two are going to pair well and you might as well be doing lost sectors uh if the lost sector is in the moon i should actually say uh next one is bank kill repeat earn points by banking modes defeating blockers and defeating guardians and gambit 250 points this is kind of rough uh but you do get it by just banking moats and defeating blockers guardians might actually do a little bit more might never know but i know a lot of people are just going to ignore this because gambit is not the most favorited upon everyone uh next one is complete iron banner matches earn pro uh, earn bonus progress for web for jesus christ uh complete iron banner matches earn bonus progress for wins this one's not going to be too hard a little bit more annoying for a few people but just know that iron banner the power is off so you can literally go in there with the shittiest weapons and you won't get like immediately too dead by everything so just be aware of that and then last but not least anti-cabal sweep defeat cabal combatants in vanguard playlist or strikes earn bonus progress for defeating tougher combatants so this one's not too hard this one you just have to get into the vanguard playlist which kind of sucks doo-doo but uh it's easy bright dust at the end of the day so that's pretty much it you guys might be wondering why i have all this completed and the reset just happened i did this literally like five hours before reset so that way i don't have to do anything and i can just play iron banner all day uh and i'm seriously still trying to get to the the cool armor because i want to review it and actually have it but for eververse we are looking at the molten weapon ornament for the grenade launcher from last season which looks pretty cool i'm definitely not going to get it though because i just don't really care for it uh, we have nectar dynamo which is a really cool purple and blue unfortunately there is red in it so thankfully like this whole scheme looks really cool but if i remember correctly it's on cloth armor or specifically on cloth pieces uh even though I say that this is all purple, there is red is just what I'm trying to say. Uh, then for the bottom stuff, we have Matter Scourge, Scourge, which it's basically just a shader. Oh, this is the, oh, this is from the Season of the Arrivals. 
Oh, that's cool. I'm, done. I'm still not going to get it, but that's cool. Uh, we have the Sintra. I can't even say that word. Uh, it's a ship that looks you know, what, like if you like it. I mean, do you, fam? We have the Unseen to be Shown ornament for the fixed odds, the machine gun from the dungeon, which I already have this. It's pretty cool. Uh, you know, Izanagi Shell, which I, I attempted to get this, but unfortunately, I don't have the. The, oh no wait there is no ship i was thinking about the the one from the season of the forge never mind then canned rage which is whatever and then spill the tea and that's pretty much it for the shaders we have neopop wave which is really cool uh it's a little too flamboyant for me personally but it, it is really cool uh we have welded brass which is kind of boring in my opinion, but I mean, pop off. We have Royal Welcome, which mm, it looks kind of boring. I'm not gonna lie. And then Vibrant Beach, which eh, very, very big eh. Like I don't like whatever. And that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, dude, honestly, I'm gonna be having videos on the new Iron Banner system because it's pretty weird i'm not gonna lie it also sucks because you do have to complete this on multiple characters but at the same time that's always how it's been so i'm not really too bothered by that but yeah we'll talk about iron banner because i've completed two matches and i gotta tell you guys that <sighs> rift is a little weird i'm not gonna lie but let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media links are in the description below uh thank you all for coming up to this point and i'll see y'all later